actually surprised to see more girl, more girl hands than guy hands. They're all lying. <laughs> Whatever. I'm a gamer girl. Um, trust me, there's there are a lot more gamer girls out there than you think. Um, how many of you know what's to come for the new systems for the holidays? No one. <laughs> All right, well, I'm here to tell you about the history of gaming and the system and the technologies, the difference between gaming girls and gaming guys, and the future of the systems. Gaming started out with the oscilloscope, and it was played, it had a table tennis-like game on it, and it was invented by Willie Haven Hickenbottom in 1958 at Brookhaven National Lab in Upton, New York. The next system would be the Odyssey. Um, Magnavox's Odyssey released in 1972, the same year as the Atari was founded. Pong was invented in 1975 and was created and named after the sound of a ball hitting the paddle. Interesting, right? In 1977, the Atari 2600 sells for $249.95. The Intellivision, which I learned from Renee, was Atari's first real competitor in 1980. Then this um, NES was released in 1980 or 19 yeah 1986 to the U.S. The Sega Master System was released in the same year to complete with the to compete with the NES. Uh, 19, 1989, Nintendo releases the Game Boy for 109 dollars. It's pretty cheap right now. Uh, then the Super NES sells for 249 dollars and 95 cents. The Sega Saturn and the PlayStation make their debut in Japan. The next year, the PlayStation comes to the States. Nintendo releases the Nintendo 64 in Japan and released to the US the next year. PlayStation is considered in 1997 to be the most popular console because the company sold its 20 millionth unit. That's pretty awesome. In 1998, the Sega Dreamcast is released. 2000, the PS2 launches in the US for $299.99 and is sold out by the early morning. Mm -hmm. The Sims is also released for PC, which is also one of my favorite games. In 2001, Microsoft and Nintendo introduced their systems, the Xbox and the GameCube. In 2004, Nintendo releases the DS, and in 2005, Sony releases their PSP. In 2005 as well, Microsoft unveils the 360. In 2006 as well, Nintendo releases the Wii, and Sony unveils their PS3. Boys versus girls. There isn't really a difference. There are 60% of men play video games, whereas 40% also men, women do. The connections online, you can create friendships, you can create relationships, which is also how I met my boyfriend. Me and my boyfriend met on PlayStation Network, which is kind of oh. embarrassing. <laughs> but he's awesome. Um, I saw this um, this quote on confession confessions of a gamer girlfriend .com. Several critics agree that the title female gamer is not only oppressive but downright archaic. While gaming culture now being more readily accepted by the mainstream and increasingly gender neutral, it's high time women <coughs> were fully accepted and included in video game culture and held in the high regard as the male counterparts. Basically, she was saying that women shouldn't be downsized because they're not normal to play video games. <laughs> All right, well, today I've informed you about the history of gaming, the ratio and difference of male versus female gamers, and the future of gaming. Technology has re really evolved since the 1950s, and I know I'm not the only one who is patiently waiting for the holidays to see what Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo has in store for us consumers and gamers.